Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'm Phil from Sunny Morning Gaming. This is the final episode of Oxen Free. Check it out. I have an idea, Mr. Jordan. Couldn't we have him reborn? Oh, no. Come on, Jonas. Don't turn freaky now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm... Jesus Christ, I really hate that. But I'm... I think, um... What is it... Like... What does it feel like when that happens? It's you forget stuff, really. Like what you're supposed to be doing, or... I usually forget my dad's name to start. And then it snowballs into not remembering how to walk or talk, and... <sighs> then you pass out. But you, like, see stuff, right? Like when I saw Michael on the beach... Yeah, I, you... I see stuff, but it's like, I don't know, they're like dreams. They just dissolve when I'm back. Look, it's scary, needless to say, when I, like, drown or whatever in my own body, and it's starting to feel like just... Like, how do I say this? Cause... It's okay, Jonas. Just say what's on your brain. I just want to say, I just, I think it would have been cool us living together for, for whatever, senior year. And I'm just glad I met you, that's all. I'm just glad we met. Aw, Jonas, you big sap. Okay, alright, that's all, nothing to see here. And now we can go back to the whole escaping and trying to live another day thing. Yeah, let's finish strong now. No half acidness at the end. Okay, I'm gonna- I'm just gonna say one thing, and then I promise it'd be the last time I bring it up tonight, but... You know you screwed up with Ashley at the concert, right? I mean, it's not a giant thing, but still. What concert? It wasn't- you can't call it a concert. It was like an all-day, all-night, like, festival with tents and, like, a hundred bands. I don't care if it had a million bands, Alex. Ashley had stolen her mom's car to go, and I know you say you didn't know that, which, whatever, but... You still knew mom and dad had barred you from going. Just tell me it's the last time I hear about you stealing a car. However inadvertently, my little heart can't handle the excitement. Mm, nope, not promising that. What's the point in living if not to boost cars for an underworld criminal empire? I guess I can't answer that. Oh, and I wanted to say, um, <laughs> per your advice, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really, um, like, commit to Clarissa. <laughs> that sounds dumb, like I'm pinning her or something. But you, you know what I mean. Wow. Big man on campus. I don't know why I said that. Big step. That's what I mean. Big step. Eh, it's not a big deal. I'm just letting you know, so... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. I just wanted to tell you. Come on, let's get to the sentry before the last boat comes. I gotta get the uh, visual aid for the history project. And then I just gotta write the stupid essay. What history project? They still make you do, like, work with so little left in the year? Unfortunately. This is... It's just like a town history thing for civics, you know? So it's forced me to kind of, I don't know. And I mean, it's funny, I don't know if I even want to be here next year. It's just all so flat. Same people, the same expressions. But everybody loved, everyone loves you here. You're like, I mean, you should hear how the teachers talk about you. I know how they talk about me. It's like, if I don't become a billionaire president, their life has been wasted. I know you think I have it on easy street, but people looking at you all the time, wanting evidence that it's good, that they lived here, that good things can happen to people that are from here, it can get to be a real drag. Like, how about somebody else be captain of whatever for once? Give me a rest. Just don't put so much pressure on yourself, Michael. Who cares what they think? You're gonna... You're gonna do what you're gonna do. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. Yes, I will. Uh, let's head back before Karen Strands is here. You know, when we saw Uncle Pete last month, I wanted to ask him, because he, he got out moving to New York. And I asked him if it was hard leaving. Know what he said? Oh, God, Michael, I have no idea. I mean, knowing Uncle Peter, he was probably three sheets to the wind. He said the hardest part was deciding what to take with him and what to leave behind. I thought it was, I don't know, for him, <laughs> kind of almost touching. Well, I could have told you that. When we moved from the Upper West Side, I cried for weeks that I'd given away my chunky monkey doll to charity. Yeah, biggest mistake of your life, I'm sure. 
<laughs> I cannot believe I had to pick you up from the police station because of Grand Theft Auto. I mean, that is too funny. <laughs> Stop it! Alex? Stop it. Just stop. Ugh. You got, you know, you went bad again? I couldn't get you out of it. We should really, we should get this done, now. I saw, I saw Michael again. I just, I'm sorry. When I'm there, I just get sucked into it like nothing happened. Come on, it's all right. I think I can hear Ren and Nona down there. by Lieutenant Peter Hasborough. It was installed here in 1979 to remind all who view it of Fort Milner's original intent, to serve as a beacon of harbor defense. Though the base would eventually become acclaimed as the birthplace of many radio innovations during World War II, and until its deactivation would be known more for its schooling and the tragic sinking of the USS. Just don't say anything to them, okay? This is... It's just... Hey, secret secrets are no fun unless you share with everyone. What is it? Reveal yourselves. We're dating. We're dating. Nona and I, we're gonna date. Rin, dude, what did I just say? What? They asked, right? You asked? <sighs> Mazel tov on the happy couple. <laughs> Thank you. No, stop. It's one date at the Revival Theater. We're just gonna sit quietly in the dark and watch a documentary on Bosnian genocide. Hmm, romantic. Hey, one man's depressant is another chick's upper. Aw, how cute. Riviera's a great movie house. And the ushers can't tell where you're putting your hands if you sit in row G, by the way. Please don't tell him that. Anyways, I know it's stupid to be planning or whatever for this, but I don't know. I just feel like maybe it's not that insignificant or whatever. Whatever. Truly the language of love. <laughs> Shut up. You know what I mean. Good. I'm glad. This is... I mean, at the very least, I'll get to hear embarrassing stories, so... I... I want to get this off my chest. Just... Something happened to us tonight, Alex. Something broke. I don't know if it was the ghosts or whatever, but... You've been acting like... Not you. Ren. No. I just... I don't know. Well, I'm... Sorry, I don't... I don't know what else to say, really. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm even saying this now. This is stupid, but... Can we, like, take a picture? Why? I don't know. In case things go bad and... Yeah, let's do it. We're on a beach. Kind of. Let's keep a shred of normal here. Alright, let's take it. Alex, get in here. You're not getting out of it. Right. Once we're in there, the door won't open again since the system's so convoluted. So, make sure you're ready to finish this before we go inside. We'll be back. Oh, I know. Okay, I... Uh, all right. I am coming with you, you know. Yeah, yeah. This early version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946. The above-ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface 
molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, Listen, Alex, I don't want to say anything to Ren or Nona, but the truth of it is I'm not feeling too awesome right now. It's kind of getting worse. Just hang in there, Jonas, okay? I know you feel like a garbage snowman right now, but we're almost done. Hey, what do you call a man who's short of time? Huh? Have you heard this one? Mm, no clue. Tim. You call him Tim. <laughs> oh. <sighs> yeah, it's not one of my finest. It's... it feels like wrong to see one of these when we're not in a, a time loop, right? <laughs> yeah, it kind of does. It's kind of spooky, right? The beds? Thinking they would have slept here while the rest of us burned? Yeah, but do you think it would even have worked? Like, if... if Yugoslavia or whoever dropped an A-bomb on their heads, I don't know if this place would have held up. Too late now anyway. They never got to try it out. Wait, it's... Oh, damn. It's another radio wave lock thing. Wait, before... Look, if something happens on the other side of this door, just... Don't be stupid. Cut and run, okay? If I turn into dead weight or start freaking out... Just get to the boat. Do whatever you have to. Jonas, we're all getting out of here. I mean, look, we're about to fix this in two minutes. Two minutes. This is microwave popcorn of a problem. I'm not asking. I'm telling. Look, dream a little dream, buddy. It's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna leave you. Now, let's just get this door open, do what we gotta, and get home. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, you know what? There's, there's like the tenth time we've heard this song all night. There is something going on with... Like, why would this specific tune be all over the place? I have to know what's going yeah, on. Yeah, it's probably a trick, Jonas. The ghosts know we're closing in on, on booting them out, and they're throwing up distractions to distract you. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. But, I mean, it's, it's ghosts. And I'm not about to throw away the possibility this is something else. I'll be fast, but it's just too strange. All right, I know what you're thinking, and Jonas, I'm sorry, but chances are remote that this is, like, your actual mom collect calling you from the grave or something. Yeah, but how remote, really? It's like breaking or something. Can you, can you fix it? I mean, it's just so crazy to keep hearing this, right? It was like a tick she had. I don't know, but try and get it playing right if you can. It's, it sounds like it's her, like a recording, or it's just, it's my mom. That's her voice in the static. You can hear that, right? I mean, I know you don't know what she sounded like, but you can hear that. The voice, right? I can kind of hear it. Is it possible? Do you, th do you think it's possible? I mean, we've been, like, talking with ghosts the entire night. Do you think it's my mom? Whoa. Uh, Alex? Jonas, wait! <sighs> oh, no. You know, the truth is, we could have left whenever we wanted. We weren't prisoners of the cave. What are you talking about? You could leave? What does that mean? Us being here at all is a constant struggle. We've had our fingers Don't dug into the cliff's edge, waiting and trying to come back. Waiting and screaming at anyone who give us so much as a glance. 
You have to let go. You have to... Why haven't you just let yourself because go? Because it's scary, that's why. Have you ever stared into nothing and moved with it and felt a part in it? It's worse than when we were wilting into atoms. Worse than dying the first time. No, uh, of course not, but you have to, no matter how hard it is. No, we don't have to. We don't have to do anything, not anymore. Whatever you think you can do, you can't. We're not going back. We won't go back. Just, like, leave. You know, there's there's still time to not be complete monsters about this and do the right thing here. The right thing? Oh, I'm sure it's very easy for someone like you to dictate terms when you've never really been challenged. God, you're so spoiled. You don't even know the cost of things. <laughs> Closing the hole with your stupid toy will spare your, your friends from our bloom, sure. But it will seal you up in here with us. You'll die with us. Oh, getting started already, okay? You want to go check it out the void? Fuck. We can see how long you stay on the throttle. Just don't blink. Oh, you don't want this. Then get out of everybody and I'll stop. It's everyone or nothing. Alexandra, wake up. This course of action will only save those morons. Not yourself. Wait! <laughs> Michael to stay with Clarissa. They like each other a lot. But Michael's dead. How could I even... Whoa, wait, what? What's happening? Hello? Are you... Look, is someone there? Jonas, if you're still there, this would be a great time to say something. When the time comes, let Jonas talk to his mom. His mom's dead. I know his mom's dead. What, what is... How, how is this possible? What's going on? Well, that could have gone better. Right. Time loop. Tell 
tell Michael he should go to school here. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here. <sighs> Oh, hey, I didn't even know you were home. You're always so quiet. It's like living with a little fairy tale mouse. Are you back? Are we back now, or...? Uh, yeah, I'm back. I was only gonna be at Terry's house for the game. I've been, like, struggling with this stupid speech, the graduation thing. I don't want it to be just the usual blah blah we've come so far type stuff. It should have, like, a point, right? It should bring you to your feet about something. I... I don't know. I, I don't think it has to have a point. Well, that's where we differ, sister. I think things should have points. Things should be sharp. They should poke you. I'm guessing mom probably told you about my scholarship to state, right? I don't really know how I feel about it. I mean, I feel it's not like it's a bad thing. It's a good thing, obviously. What? That's great. Congratulations. I, I mean, that that's awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thanks. It's just, you know, it seems like half the teachers are alumni and... Actually, I'm about to be really arrogant and presumptuous and say mean things for no real reason other than I think I know better, so forget it. I've bored you enough. Michael, say it. Come on. You can't take me to the water's edge of an idea here and then not jump in. That's just cruel. No, no, really. I'm talking out of my ass. It's fine. Listen, here's the... <sighs> you can't tell mom or dad, but Clarissa and I are talking about just leaving. Getting an apartment somewhere and, and just doing our own thing, you know? Oh, wow, that's... that's exciting. This is like a huge deal, like like the boxcar children version of getting married or something. Uh, it's... yeah, it's kind of a big deal, I guess. It'll be a lot harder to break up, so there's some level of uh, vow there. She's been really pushing for it, wanting to look for places, and uh, I'm into the idea. I really am. I just... I wouldn't feel right about it if I didn't have your, like, blessing first. So, can you just wave your hand over my head or something and say I'm alright to do this? I... God, it's hard for me to say since I love you, of course, but you should do it. Totally. Even if it explodes in a nuclear war-style breakup, you'll regret never trying. Thanks. That means a lot. Alex, just get good friends, okay? And when you're with those friends, just say yes to everything. And keep away from boys when you talk to them, it feels like you're performing. But also, stay away from girls who look you in the eye for too long. And match every beer with a water. And take classes outside of school. Classes you don't need. Oh, come on, Michael, we already have a dad. You should know. We all live in the same house. This is just... this is a just-in-case package, okay? Just in case I'm not around. And I love you, and you're amazing, and that's it. So... I love you, too. But soon, I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Hey, she's waking up. Is she all right? Are we... Uh, in ghost heaven? I think that's just called heaven, sweetheart. But no, we're not. Yeah, 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 okay. The, the important thing is, whatever you did in the cave, it worked. The tear, the hole, it's fixed. The ghosts are gone. We're going home. Or at least they've... they've stopped trying to eat our souls. Yeah, it's important to note that. That's... I'm... I'm glad. I'm sorry, I'm just... I was back. I fell back a few years during the whole thing, and I just saw Michael again. That's all. So, I'm just a little rattled right now. You saw Mike? What happened? What... what was it like? Well, wait... Yeah, okay, relax, everybody. I thought... I don't know, I just thought I could change things, maybe. I don't know, I don't know what I thought. Yeah, I don't think whatever we were doing really worked like that. I'm sorry, Alex. Yeah, it's... I'm sure it was rough. No, it was, um... It was good to see him. It was good. He looked good. He looked, um... Himself. I had my older sister. It was a night where... I don't even remember why she was mad at me. Probably something I said to our mom. 
but I don't know why that who cares knight would visit. I wouldn't put much thought into it, Clarissa. Really. Yeah, it doesn't matter now. Maybe it's... I don't know, maybe it's like what matters to us showed up or something. The universe doesn't care about what matters to us. Then it doesn't matter anyway. No, I guess it doesn't. I can't believe everything that happened. I just... I feel like we should tell everyone we know. Like, go on a freaking book tour, but... What? No, are you kidding? We have... Well, we don't have evidence of ghosts, but we know there's a continuation, a, a sort of life after death. This is like the moon landing times a billion. Yeah, but no one's gonna believe it, so... Hey, is this your book? Oh man, this is... We're gonna be the best couple ever. Uh, okay, slow down. I lost it on the way. I thought for sure some commuter would have just tossed it overboard. Hey, that reminds me. What were we... We were talking about something stupid right before Alex woke up. Prom? Uh, uh, prom. 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 I am definitely skipping this one. I'm deferring the crown to that wheelchair girl. Are you going, Alex? Are we supposed to still spike the punch or just bring in flasks? I guess. I mean, if I find a date, you know. I'm not gonna go stag. I have my dignity. Ben Owens will ask you. Or rather, he's going to ask you unless I physically prevent him. Eh, you can do better. Come on, come with me and Nona. We'll go dress shopping. It'll be fun. It'll be like a movie montage, except none of us are prostitutes and there's no rich guy. Uh, sounds great. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should spiffy up once in my life. All right, just don't say phrases like that while we're out and we'll be solid. All right, you know what? It's picture time. Oh my god, come on. Nona. <sighs> yeah, I guess we should. Tonight's been, um, noteworthy. Noteworthy. That is a way to say it. Yeah, I'd probably say it another way. Let's, um, let's actually move outside so we can get the light. Sure. Ren, what is that book, anyway? I don't know. I can hardly make heads or tails out of what the hell he's talking about half the time. Here's good for the... yeah, just here. Like, look. I'll just pick a random-ass page. Like, this, here. When I was younger, I could remember anything, whether it happened or not. But soon... I shall be so I cannot remember any but the things that never happened. Yeah, I... I don't know. Okay, everyone. Wait, didn't you... Cheese! Before we'd left, I told my mom I was spending the night at a friend's house. And when I got back, I didn't see any reason to change that story. And you know what? I still don't. The island did one good thing, forcing Ren and Nona together. Which is nice, because they're still together, actually, though they go to different schools now. Trying out the long distance thing, I guess. Clarissa left to study English literature. She was thinking of dropping out, but is keeping at it for now. We talk sometimes. Rarely, but sometimes. I hear she's scared of the ocean now. And she got a dog, too, if you care. Jonas was the first to introduce me as his sister. You know, without the step part in front of it. And it was weird at first, but it's the truth. He's my brother. He goes to school in town, and we see each other a lot. It's funny, what happened on the island used to pop into my head every single day, and then every other day. And then a week went by and I realized I hadn't thought about it at all. I guess that's, I don't know, it's good, I think. But anyways, I, um, well, if it matters. I left town to go to school. Undeclared. I need time to figure out what I... what I want, I guess. But anyways... What time is it? <gasps> yeah, sorry, I gotta run or I'll miss the ferry. Ren's dragging me out to Edwards Island for that yearly beach party thing. And I have to pick up what's-his-name Jonas, too. <sighs> I hope he's not weird or mean or something. Whatever. I'm sure it'll be fun. It's something to do, right?